Hey guys, Cool the Car Man here. So today we are going to be doing a Monte Carlo update. Just a quick little short video since I haven't put any recent videos out. Um, sorry about that, but we're trying to. Uh, I've just been busy with work and everything, so I figured I'd shoot a quick little video while it's in the garage and um, it's all cleaned up and looks presentable so let's go ahead and get into it uh let's see i got this back in march march the 25th and today is july the 5th the day after 4th of july um and it's almost at 65,000. time i drive it back home uh it'll be right before 65,000. so uh things that i've had done to the car um it's got all new front and rear struts and the wheels realigned after that. If we come in here, you can see the brand new struts. Um, unfortunately, it does sit a little bit higher, but the car needed the struts. So, I mean, it's not too high, um, but it does ride really good with the new struts compared to the original 20 year old ones. Um, even though the car only had like 63,000 on it when I put them on or 64, uh, this 20 years of hitting bumps and all that kind of stuff just wore them out. So you could really tell in the rear because, you know, I took this car on a trip and I had a whole bunch of stuff in the back and we had three people in the car and it was like, I mean, the wheel was like up here close to the fender and it's like, wow, <laughs> really neat new struts. Um, but I mean, overall, that's really the only thing. Uh, only other problem I had with it was a code popped up once or twice and it was a P0171, I think, for running lean. Check for vacuum leaks. I cleaned the mass airflow sensor and no, couldn't feel or hear any vacuum leaks, but I cleared the mass airflow sensor and I cleared the code after, no problems, so as of right now runs really good just keeping up with all the fluids and stuff it is a 20 year old car uh it's almost about to hit 65,000. uh unfortunately i am putting the miles on a little faster than i would like but it's a really fun car to drive and every time i had the opportunity to drive i drive so uh interior um i did detail the whole car since i have the garage i'm going to use that to my advantage i um washed the car dried it clay barred and then i waxed it uh you know it took me two days because i didn't want to just do spend a whole day cleaning it i was doing it at night when it was cooler out um so i mean overall the car really didn't need a clay bar but it is very smooth and it's protected now the guy who i bought it from did put like a ceramic coating on it or, you know, he was very religious with the washes and stuff, and uh, it has held up, and I just want to preserve that, so I waxed over top, I clay barred and waxed it, so, and uh, cleaned the tires and the barrels of the rims and wheels and stuff, so trying to keep it all nice and clean. Polish the exhaust tips back there, you can see, but uh, yeah, so, I mean, there's really not much. Um, I think once I get back from this trip, uh, it'll be, like I said, right before 65,000. So I'll run to the auto zone or something, grab some oil and an oil filter, do an oil change and tire rotation on it. And yeah, I mean, she'll be good to go with all that. Just staying up on the maintenance and everything and uh, trying to do preventative maintenance as well. Um, only real issue as of right now i mean it's not even an issue uh the passenger side is blowing cold the driver side is blowing lukewarm but if you drive the car it'll get cold so i think on it and the guy who i bought it from he's like it might need an ac recharge i think that's all it really needs because i was talking to a shop and they said odds are that's it i did replace the blower motor or not the the dual zone climate thing Unfortunately, this car has dual zone. Not a fan of that, but it's whatever. I did replace the, the thing up in the dash to um, try and see if that had something to do with it, but it didn't. It didn't change it, so I think all it really needs is just an AC recharge, but that's literally the only thing 
that is the problem. But like I said, if you drive it with the AC on for like 10 minutes, it'll start blowing cold. So AC recharge, possibly, you know, maybe towards the end of this month, I'll do that just to see if how that goes. But like I said, just keeping up with uh, the fluids and everything and the car has been running great. Um, I did also order some like sound deadening. The car is very quiet, but it has a few rattles and squeaks. It's a 20 year old GM product. They all do that. But uh, I'm going to, let's see. Um, in the trunk here, don't mind that. I gotta fold that down, but uh, back up in here, I'm gonna sound it and all this, this uh, hollow metal. It has some, but I just wanna sound it and it's more, um, but sound it in there, sound it in, you know, where the spare tire is, possibly in the trunk, not to cover up that, but, um, and like on the interior, like underneath the uh, carpet, on the floorboards and stuff, and maybe behind the passenger door, or the uh, door panels on the passenger and driver's side, maybe. I just don't really want to pull a door panel and, you know, risk scratching stuff, but I think that's really much, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to do any more power modifications to it because I like how it is now. It has enough power for me to put a smile on my face, <laughs> so um, I really don't feel like I want to put a smaller pulley on it, even though I could, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I just want to keep this video short and sweet to the point, but yeah, so here it is. I guess I could do a walk around. It turned out with the uh, clay bar and everything and the waxing pretty good on the paint. Um, I think I am going to order new headlights. These are OEM headlights, but if you get up close there, cracking and stuff, maybe towards, you know, August, maybe I'll do that, order new lights. It really doesn't need it. They are extremely clear. The guy had this garage and these are the factory lights, but they have like crow's feet and cracking and pitting and stuff. So maybe I will. And some of the orange reflector, you can see it's like flaking off and just in the headlight, but it's really not that bad. Um, oh, I did get window tint. <laughs> uh, window tint, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I have the new um, headrests that have the red bow ties. I'm trying to make everything like, like kind of tie in. Has the red SS on the quarter panel, on the center caps, and then the bow tie on the trunk, and then bow tie on the interior. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I got uh 25% all the way around, and then a 5% banner from here to here, and then a new old stock Monte Carlo uh windshield banner because like back in you know back when these cars were new you could option these cars out with a uh a banner as a like dealer install option thing so and it would match the color of the car so if you got a red one it'd be red yellow yellow etc um except for black ones it would be white but um yeah so not too much uh, mod wise that i want to do to it like i said the sound deadening and you know a couple other little things i mean the car like i said in the first video when i got this it literally has everything that i would want to do done to the car so hence why i wanted this one more than a stock one or you know a factory supercharged one from the factory but literally everything's done to it and that's the best thing about the car but anyway uh we're getting to nine minutes on the video i'm gonna cut this short um and then another little thing i did found that emblem in a junkyard popped mine out it just said monte carlo but now i put a supercharged one on it so just just little things here and there but uh yeah so stay tuned for more videos to come uh like i said i will be uploading more and more but uh for right now here's the monte carlo as it sits and thank you all for watching and i will see you all in the next video Peace.